What's up guys, it's Attack Wally, and today I talk about the top 5 predictions for Google I.O. 2014. This year, Google I.O. happens on the June 25th to 26th, and this is in a bit more than a month. So these are my top 5 predictions for Google I.O., which is Google's keynote where they present new products and I have a lot of predictions but these are my top five starting with number five is an updated version of Google Glass so in my opinion they will release a new Google Glass only for explorers so another explorer edition I don't think that we will we'll see a consumer version anytime soon possibly in 2015 but not this year I think they will tweak the hardware a bit and also it will get some software updates. Number 4 are the new Nexus devices. The Nexus 8 should, in my opinion, be released on Google I.O. or be announced at least. Back in 2013 they uh, announced the Nexus 7. I am a huge fan of it, I own it. It's currently, in my opinion, the best small tablet you can buy. The Nexus 8 will have a 8 inch screen obviously because of the name and it won't ma be made by Asus like the um, older version it will be made by HGC so it will feature very great build quality in my opinion possibly also a QHD display because it has an 8 inch screen and we're um, seeing that in the Samsung Note Pro or Tab Pro also they have a QHD screen so it will probably also have the best specs again the Snapdragon 801 or maybe even a higher version or new version of that processor. I hope that Google will announce a successor to the Nexus 10 because it, the last Nexus 10 was released in 2012, which is a bit older tablet. It's still one of the best 10 inch tab tablets, in my opinion. So the te um, Nexus 10 will feature a 10.1 inch screen. The manufacturer is not certain, so barely any rumors about the manufacturer. I'm not sure about that. Uh, top of the line specs. Um, it will feature a 2560 by 1600 screen like the um, last one or even a 4K display, maybe. Uh, so uh, definitely a really nice screen and also front facing speakers, hopefully, because the last one had them. You've probably noticed that I didn't say anything about the Nexus 6 and that is because last week um, I've got a lot of rumors about Google getting rid of the Nexus line and replacing them with Android Silver. I personally, I am a huge fan of the Nexus line, so Google, please don't get rid of the Nexus line, please. But I think that the rumors of Android Silver is is true or are true so that makes me kind of sad because the thing i really loved about the nexus devices and, and especially the phones were the low price point the android silver phones are rumored to be really high-end devices um also with a higher price tag and it's especially to attack um the iphone or apple in general so we won't see we probably see any new Nexus devices. Coming in at number two is the new Android system. Android Lollipop as rumored and it will be either Android 4.5 or 5.0. It is expected to really focus on security and also business usage. It is also rumored that this version of Android will be a 64-bit version which is, in my opinion, awesome, but we still have to wait for the 60-bit processors in Android smartphones. And my number one prediction for Google I.O. in this year is Android Wear. So I have done a complete video just on Android Wear. I will link that down below the like button in the description, so definitely check that out. I explain the state of wearable tech. And in that video, I showed two smartwatches, the LG G Watch and the Moto 360. The Moto 360 is the most beautiful smartwatch I've ever seen because it is round and it looks 
amazing. It has a really awesome build quality and it is supposed to um, be released in summer 2014. So we don't have an exact date, but summer and the launch partners. So we do expect to see Android Wear very soon. Uh, we have here a clip of where they introduce Android Wear and some features it can do. And yeah, it seems very awesome. And I'm definitely very excited for it. So that's been it, guys. This was my top five predictions for Google I.O. I hope that some of them come true. Possibly I will do a video on the top five announcements um, after Google I.O. happens. Um, other things I didn't that didn't make the list for uh, general updates or re redesigns of the um, Google apps like Gmail or Maps. Um, also, I would love to see some Chromecast support for many different apps. And I would love to hear some news on the Project Aura. I'm a huge fan of that phone, um, but I think we will see some more um, advancement or more news or rumors in general in later this year or also in the start of next year. Also, there is a Google TV, which would rival the Apple TV or the I uh, Amazon Fire TV. But I don't think that we will see one like this year's Google I.O., so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me a like down below. Also comment for any improvements, feedback or questions. Or also if you want, you can post your top five predictions for Google I.O. in this year. See you in the next one. Bye.